In this video, I'll show you in real time how to draw this sunflower in Procreate to make your own coloring page. So let's get started right away. Just using the regular monoline brush, and I'm going to make a quick stencil so that I have a pattern to follow. So I want to have a little oval in the center, and I'm going to do a new layer so I can move this around, and I'm going to do a big circle. Tap to make your circle perfectly round. And then I'm going to use the select tool and move that around to where I want it to go. I'm going to combine those layers so I can move the whole thing around the canvas. I'm going to create a new layer in the color that I want in black. Two ovals, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to draw my petals. Sunflower petals go kind of like this. I'm going to delete that layer because I don't need it anymore. Oh. Sunflower petals look kind of like this. Sunflower petals look kind of like that. And then you've got some like defining lines. You know, maybe down here you have some lines, something like that. So that's a bigger version. I'm going to erase all of that now. I'm doing a double tap. That's how you erase. So I'm going to put these on a separate layer. Turn that layer back on, my under layer. So I have it, I'm doing my petals on a separate layer. That way I can go in and erase any anything that I did over the line. And I kind of want to separate my petals so that they're not all exactly the same. I want some that are I want some that are kind of dangling over the side, but there will also be petals behind these petals. erase my lines where I've gone over and then for my back layer I'm going to do the same thing add another layer so that it's easier to erase Just gonna move my canvas around so I'm using two fingers pinching and moving going between two petals and then for my next set of petals I'm going to do the same thing add a new layer Want that to be more centered make these a little bit smaller too pointy. I'm going to try and make that like this. I'm trying to make them line up a little bit better. I'm getting nice and close now because I want those lines to look good. Oops. one more here and then I'm going to turn my back layer off so I can see my sunflower. So you don't really like that petal so I'm going to go in and erase it. This is where having them all on different layers is really handy. I can just 
erase that one petal and I'm not affecting anything around it. a big fan of that one either, but I think it gives a little bit of interest, I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up some of my lines here. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to combine those layers, all my layers. I don't need this back layer, so I'm swiping to the left to delete. And now I'm going to do some detail. So I'm going to lower my line thickness so I can do some details inside. See how there's a little curve line there? to do the little dots. Clean up a little line right there. You can clean up lines as you go too. do this part, you can just do your basic lines and be done with it, but I like to add a little bit of detail. Just cleaning up my lines as I go here. That's on a different layer. Go back to my details layer. So you might be thinking these lines are wobbly, but you don't want your lines to be perfect because it's a hand drawing. I mean, maybe you do, and you can make adjustments to this brush, but I like them a little bit wobbly. So that it looks like a hand drawing. this.
Now I want to draw some details in the middle here. I'm just going to do some little dots in the center. And they'll be more concentrated, concentrated in the center and on the outside, just to give it a little bit of sort of seed feeling. sunflower. What do you think? Did you draw it? Leave a message in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.